Hey, ideal testing beginners. Today we are go we are tackling a common interview question that can make a big difference in you in your interviews. It's going to be very straightforward and easy to understand. So if you find this helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay updated with more valuable content. Let's jump into it. So the question which is asked in Bank of America. So try to understand. So get the Get me the first highest salaried employee at each department level and display the employee ID, first name and department name and salary column, salary columns. So try to understand one thing. Okay. So when you have, when you wanted to see, right, if you are aware of it, Oracle, and if you are aware of it, HR schema. So let's get into that. Okay. So simply what we can do here, let me remove this. Okay. So here select star from employees. Okay. Which contains employee ID, first name and as well as as well as salary details so first three columns which is going to come employee ID, first name these two columns which is going to come from where employee table employee table let me make it here employee here also employee table and here also salary also employee table now what about department name department name do we have a department name in employee table no here no okay let's get into another table what is that table so here you have to understand department name is present in department's table. So if you wanted to get these four columns, what you have to do? You have to join the tables. You have to join the tables. At the same time, you have to get the first highest salary at each department level. Let's segregate this. Let's segregate this. What are the things which you have to get it? So to make it any way, in a simpler way, first, what you have to do? You have to get the first highest salary at each department level. How can you achieve this? By writing simply, what are the selection columns which you need it? So let's get into here. Employee ID, first name, salary. Okay, employee ID. Okay, then first name, then salary. Okay, salary, comma. Okay, dense rank. Okay, what? why we have to do that? I'll ex explain you. Dense rank over, okay, over partition by, partition by what? Partition by what level you are, you have to segregate the data at what is the question? Question is get me the highest salary, highest salaried employee at each department level, which means you have to segregate the data based on department level, department ID level. And then on top of it, what you have to do? You have to order the data based on what you want highest salary. Highest salary means what you have to do? You have to order the salary in descending order, descending order. If you do a, by default like this without missing, it will come in a ascending order, ascending order. If you wanted to do descending order, you have to use the dense rank. So dense rank, it is going to give you the rank based on the, based on the order of the columns. And here partition by clause, what it does, it is going to segregate the data. Suppose it is going to provide the window, provide the window. So when you have given like this, without this, okay, without this, what it is going to consider entire table, entire table, it will consider as a single window, single window. Then it is going to order the order the day order the data based on the order by column, based on the order by column, salary based. It is going to. But when you have given partition by department, each department I each department will consider as a different window based on that again you are doing order by nothing but a you are descending the salary nothing but a you are going to order the salary here so what you are going to do sal rank sal rank from which table employees table employees table now can we execute this so three columns you got it okay three columns you got it as well as you are getting the rank you are getting the rank next thing is what you have to do you have to get the select 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 department name okay so i'm making it very easy way so to make to understand so select departments okay department stable you are getting the these things so whenever you are going ahead and you are going to join right how you can join by using the joinings okay if you wanted to combine two tables you have to do the joinings so today, what I'm going to do, I'm going ahead and I'm going to explain you in a simpler way. What is that simpler way? So you can do it. You can do it in a easy way. Okay. What is that? With 
CTEs, common table expression, common table expressions, common table expression, which starts with, which starts with, with, okay, with, with the clause. Okay, simply what you can do. So rank salaries, rank salaries, okay, rank salaries, okay, rank or salaries as you can open the bracket, you can open the bracket and then in between whatever the thing which you wanted to write it up you can write it up now what we can do simply you can take this table okay take this one whatever the thing and at the same time what you can do you can write it up a okay we are giving the table name as alias and then you can write it up inner join okay and then what do you want departments departments you which table you are going to join departments table nothing but a you can you can keep it as a alias table name as b okay b and then what you have to do what basis you have to join what basis you have to join a dot department id primary key foreign key relationship right department id equals to b dot department id department id department id so you have done this okay you have done this but what is the next thing you have to do whenever you join right what is the additional column you wanted to keep it? Here you can keep it. Here you can mention department name. Department name. So what is the this CTE works? Simply you are making a temporary result with this particular name. Okay, what it does? First, it is going to execute everything and the entire temporary, temporary result which is going to be placed in this particular ranked salaries table. Okay, temp table, temp table. So now how you can do that? Simply what you can do that? Select, select, okay, select. What are the columns you need it? Okay, these four columns you need it. Just copy paste it, select start from, then from, okay. Do we need to join these two tables now? No, already it is joined and temporary result already available in where? Ranker results, ranker results. Simply you can do that where, okay, where? sal rank equals to one where sal rank equals to one which means it is going to give you it is going to give you the it is going to give you the each department level highest salary highest salary highest salary what is missing here let me check it out let me check it out So everything is perfect here. So here one oh, close bracket I have missed because I have done here a dot department at on close, right? Because of that, that is missed. So here you can execute now. Here you can execute. Okay. Again, what is the, what is the issue here? First name. Okay. Department name. column ambiguously defined okay column ambiguously defined which column is defined ambiguously department name is perfect call salary is perfect employee is perfect so which column we have defined ambiguously okay here okay remember remember this okay so whenever you do joins right you have to give column alias so here what i have missed a dot okay See, department ID I have given, but department ID is present in two tables. That is the reason it is showing column ambiguously defined. Now, let's execute it. Okay. Now, you can see, okay, each department level, highest salaries you are you are getting. Administrat administration level, Jennifer, marketing level, Mitchell, purchasing level, Den and Sushan. So, this CT is right. It is easy to write it up and you can write it in a easy way. So let me make it in a simpler world when CT is going to be useful. If you have a huge, if you wanted to write it up anything, right? If you wanted to write it up, lot of joins, lot of uh, subqueries and other things. So what you can do, you can go ahead and you can utilize CTEs. So first, what you can do, you can join here and make it in a, make it in a temporary table. And then on top of it, you can query that temporary table by using select clause, select clause. So for time being, what I have explained, I have explained 
with interview question this particular question i am going to cover cts in a separate topic in the coming interviews and we are going to start next next batch on november 25th if you are willing to join please join us thank you guys